Top 10 Breeds a Dog That Look Like Wolves Wolves are one of the most renowned creatures in pop culture, as they've been depicted since there are fairy tales to be told and most recently you see them everywhere in all kinds of movies and TV shows. Is it this impact in our culture that's intensified our desire to have such a creature present in our lives? Unfortunately, wolves are dangerous to have around children or other small animals due to their stubbornness, unpredictability and their wild instincts. However, if you're fascinated by wolves, you could enjoy the company of some breeds of dog that have a similar look to them, to the point of one or two breeds that are almost identical looking to wolves. Welcome back to Dog Law. Today, we've gathered a special list for all the wolf enthusiasts. We're taking a look at the top 10 breeds of dog that look like wolves. Why are some dogs more like wolves than others? Do you think that this is the result of some breeds being more genetically closer to wolves? Don't worry, we'll answer the question in about 5 minutes. Keep the minute counts if you want to. Before we unveil our top 10 list, make sure to subscribe to this channel to receive more of our content. You can turn on notifications to be the first one to watch our videos. Number 10. Samoyed We kick off our list with a breed of dog that looks like the descendant of both wolves and wolf-stuffed animals. This snowball-looking breed is originally from Siberia and is seen mostly in northern Russia. They're very loyal and trusting animals that create a strong bond to their owner, so let this be a warning that you may want to prepare to have your Samoyed wanting to sleep by your side every night. Males of this breed measure an average of 22 inches at the shoulders and 20 inches for females. They have dense double-layer coats that make them handle temperatures below freezing. They have completely white fur that needs constant grooming. Samoyeds are excellent house pets because of their temperament, showing trust to both friends and even strangers, although early training and socializing is always better. A Samoyed's life expectancy is between 12 and 13 years. Number 9. Utenagan Utenagans are a Finland-originated split breed of dog, a hybrid between three races – the Alaskan Malamute, German Shepherd and Siberian Husky. Although they're very much alike wolves, they aren't related to them. Their naturally thick coats adapt them better to cold temperatures. Utenagans are gentle, friendly, intelligent and sociable dogs. They have an optimal temperament and they get along well with children and other animals. Unfortunately for them, they're yet to be recognized as a breed by any official body. A fun fact about Utenagans, they got their name from a traditional Chinook tale where it's claimed that Utenagan can translate as spirit of the wolf. Any breed considered to have the spirit of these wild animals deserves a spot on our list. Number 8. German Shepherd This is without a doubt the most popular breed of the whole list. They are the go-to option for people who want a wolf-like companion in their lives. Although their coat can be a big difference from the wolf in the physical overall look, there are wolves with a tawny brown coat that can easily be mistaken for a German Shepherd. Because of their intelligence, strength, obedience and disposition, the genetic lines of work of the German Shepherd are among the most frequently used by firefighters and world order forces. Of course, their protective instinct makes them a great addition to the family and to have around the house. German Shepherds are generally either tan brown and black or red black, and both of the varieties with black masks and body markings. There are some varieties of silver, pure black or pure white German Shepherds where it's more common to see the resemblance with their old ancestors. Number 7. Canadian Eskimo Dog Also known as Quimic, they're heavy-coated and large pets that are bred to pull sleds. These are one of the largest of the wolf-like breeds, with some of the males growing up to 28 inches and weighing 95 pounds. This breed is in decline due to the modern use of snowmobiles in the Arctic, with only 300 of them registered as purebred Canadian Eskimos. It also happens that they are being replaced by the Alaskan Malamute and Siberian Husky breeds, which are faster but less resistant. Like wolves, Canadian Eskimo dogs can be almost any colour, without a pattern presenting as dominant. Pure white coloured Quimics are often seen with some of them showing patches of another colour on the head, body or both. Their temperament is the one you'd expect coming from a dog of that environment – tough, alert, intelligent and very loyal. Number 6. Siberian Husky Huskies are probably the most popular breed on this list and are the easiest breed to adopt. They're intelligent and loyal dogs that really can pass as wolves in any day, not only for their physical appearance but for their attitude as well. They have an instinct and desire of leading the pack and have a tendency to howl more than to bark. Huskies belong to the Spitz genetic family. 
They have thick double coats, thicker than other breeds have, and this makes them capable of enduring cold, freezing temperatures. Huskies also have erect triangular ears and very similar to the Alaskan Malamutes. Huskies are an energetic and active breed described as escape artists, which includes chewing through, digging under, or sometimes jumping over fences. Are we past the five-minute mark? OK, it's time to answer our question. Are the dogs on this list so physically alike the wolves because they're genetically closer than other breeds? The answer is not at all. To prove this, we're taking a dog in our list, the German Shepherd, compared to another dog, the Saluki. Genetically, the Saluki is closer to the wolf, but physically they don't resemble it. However, the German Shepherd doesn't carry a wolf genetic load as potent, but physically it's much more like a wolf than the Saluki. Number 5. Wolf Dog We know this one may come up as a little bit of cheating, but being a descendant of a domestic dog, we're considering this canine and wolf hybrid as a breed of dog. Since they are a hybrid between two species, wolf dogs have less predictable behaviour patterns compared to either the dog or wolf, although it is said that all wolf dogs tend to grunt or howl rather than bark, suggesting that wolf dogs might take more traits from the wolf. The physical characteristics are also not predictable, similar to that of mutt dogs. What can be predictable is that this breed will end up having exactly or very similar physical appearance to a wolf. A study held in Georgia showed that the crossing of both species is a common event in the areas where large livestock guardian dogs are held traditionally. In the United States, it's estimated that there are between 300,000 and 500,000 wolf dogs as pets, although it has been found that there is much fraud and there are examples of wolf dogs that only have the appearance. Number 4. Tamascan The Tamascan is a relatively new breed originally from Finland. Their lineage is uncertain, but it's said that they are the descendants of Canadian Eskimo dogs, Alaskan Malamutes, German Shepherds, and Siberian and Alaskan Huskies. With only 600 of these dogs in the world, they're not recognized by every dog association. However, the American Rare Breed Association recognizes them. The appearance of the Tabascan is imposing, given their enormous wolf-like appearance. The males of this breed measure between 25 and 33 inches, and the females between 25 and 28 inches. Females are usually slightly smaller and lighter than males, with a distinct feminine appearance. Males are more heavyset with broader heads and a heavier bone structure. According to breeders, the Tamascans live a bit more than the average breed, with a lifespan between 15 and 20 years. Number 3. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog OK, a little bit of history for you. This breed is the result of an experiment carried out in 1955. A German Shepherd was crossed with four Carpathian Grey Wolves to be a breed that would have the temperament, pack mentality and trainability of the German Shepherd and the strength, physical build and stamina of the Carpathian Wolf. After several generations, they managed to achieve a well-managed dog. After achieving the result, the Czechoslovakian Wolf Dogs were used in several military special operations, but were so effective, helpful and open to receiving instructions that they were included in search and rescue groups. They were also bred to herd and hunt. This dog should be socialized and trained properly with people and other animals. If this is done, they can develop a strong bond with the entire family and can easily learn to live with other domestic animals. The Czechoslovakian Wolfhound was recognized as a national symbol of the former Czechoslovak Republic in 1982. These can get pretty large. The lowest size from paw to shoulder is 26 inches for a male and 24 for a female, with no recorded upper limit until this date. Number 2. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute is a large ancient breed of domestic dogs that the Inuit developed as a draft dog and a charging dog. Their bulky size and coats give this breed a pet-like look, but don't let this big guy fool you because they're extraordinarily strong dogs as they can carry up to 44 pounds for many miles, practically half of their weight. Giving a small range when talking about their size can be rather difficult. The American Kennel Club breed standard describes a natural range of size, with an ideal size of 25 inches tall and 85 pounds for males, and 23 inches tall and 75 pounds for females. Heavier individuals, up to 100 pounds, and dogs smaller than 75 pounds are also commonly seen. There's often a marked difference between males and females. Malamutes are fond of people, which is why they're kept as family dogs. However, don't rely on them as your watchdog, since they don't bark that much. Above all, this is the best option to have for your entire family if you want a wolf-like dog in your household. 
Look, they sometimes put on a little bit of weight, but come on, who doesn't? And number one, Northern Inuit dogs. Imagine a breed of dogs that look so much like wolves that they were playing as giant wolves. That's right, the pack of well-trained Northern Inuit dogs was part of the cast of the HBO acclaimed series Game of Thrones. Actually, one of the stars of the show, Sophie Turner, was so attached to her stage dog, a female named Zuni, that she ended up adopting it. Is this the breed that takes all the prizes for most resembling a wolf? The Northern Inuit dogs are the result of another recent experiment carried out in the 1980s in an attempt to create a domestic dog that would physically look like the wolf, but without the high temperament of an alpha of, for example, a Siberian husky. With that being said, Northern Inuit dogs are not for the newbie and have to be trained by an experienced dog owner, since they can be very stubborn and quick-witted. We've said before that this intelligence can be a problem, as they can try and get the better of a novice owner, showing stubbornness. Males are between 25 and 30 inches high, and between 79 and 110 pounds. On the other hand, females should be between 23 and 28 inches and weigh around 55 to 84 pounds. That's the end of our list, everybody. What did you think? Were we predictable or surprising? Let us know, and as always, comment on the next topic you want us to talk about. See you next time.